Hey everyone, let's talk about The Affinity Bridge by George Mann. Before I tell you about the book, let's look at the cover. It's so lovely and the backside, all these little clockworks and details. Love it. This book is the first book in a steampunk series, The Newbury and Hobbes Investigations. The book is set in London in 1901 and there are many different things going on. For one part, there's a plague in London, more closely in Whitechapel and this plague affects the human body. The flesh doesn't regenerate and the victims are turned into zombie-like creatures before they die. Also in Whitechapel, a lot of murders are happening right now. And there is a theory that it's connected to a glowing policeman, which no one really sees and is apparently a ghost. So Maurice Newbury is an agent for the Crown who works close with Sir Charles Bainbridge, from the Scotland Yard and they are busy investigating these murders around the glowing policeman. When an airship crashes in the middle of the town, hundreds of people die and Newbury is ordered away to investigate that. That is the outset of the story. We have three different mysteries and Newbury and Bainbridge are working on solving them. Let's talk about the characters first. Since this is the first in a series, we get to know all the main players. We meet Sir Maurice Newbury. We find out that he's interested in working with the occult and he's working for the crown. He's an agent for her. He does have a minor drug problem which is played upon, but it's not really a big problem. So it just is some attraction at the moment. So we don't know if that gets more. And we find out that he's roundabout in his 40s. He is also an academic who works in the British Museum and he recently just got a new agent, Miss Hobbs, who was helping him at the museum and also in his investigations. Miss Hobbs is a young woman who was very progressive in her thinking and she really strives to help and support all the investigations she wants to be in the middle of it. She also has a sister who can sort of see the future, but she never really remembers it and people think she just has some seizures. So her parents put her in an asylum. So Charles Bainbridge is the main connection those two have to the Scotland Yard. And he's mentioned to be 10 years older than Newbury. And he always has a cane with him. Now, I really like how the characters are introduced and how they are described and how they evolve during the book. And I hope throughout the series. I really like the connection between Newbury and Hobbes and how they work together and all these little yeah, the looks they throw each other already and these little understandings they have without really talking and how they're just getting to know each other, but how it already is clear that they work really well together. I really enjoyed the interaction between those two. I also like how it's not too focused on the characters. We just follow them and we learn about them, but it's not only about the characters. A lot of the book is also about the world and the world building, which is amazing. George Mann created a Victorian England where automatons are walking around among people and are used as servants, where we have airships and dirigibles and we have a lot of gadgets and the steampunk elements are amazing and well described. I really like how he takes his time to describe all the things and the situations and Newbury's interest in all these new scientific developments. And I also like how they touch upon the fact that while Newbury is fascinated with all of this, Miss Hobbs really doesn't like the steampunk carriages that are running around the city. She prefers to ride in a carriage with horses. And I also like that George Mann comments on the fact that despite Miss Hobbs' progressive thinking when it comes to equal rights for women and men, she has her problems with equal rights for machinery and how these machines and automatons affect or might affect the workers and other people who have the job that the machines will take over. I really like how he touches upon the subject without going into too much detail and feeling preachy. And on top of all of that, I really enjoyed the story. I enjoyed watching them trying to solve all the mysteries that were going on. I liked following them on clues. While some things were predictable, there were a lot of things that were just surprising and really I didn't expect that. And I really liked that. I liked how the investigations worked and how they were just slowly progressing and how despite Newbury being very heroic, he couldn't really do all the things. And it was really realistic. I liked the people, I liked the interactions and I liked how they worked on their cases. and the result of the cases and everything. Overall, I think this is a really great steampunk series. The steampunk elements are awesome. They are well described, they are well used. 
And also the mystery part of the investigation detective story thing is in a good degree that it's not too much boring detective story, but it's really mixed well with everything that is going on. I do think that reading this series is a good start into the steampunk world if you were thinking of looking into it. If you have read The Affinity Bridge or are familiar with the Newbury and Hobbs investigations, tell me in comments what you think about it and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Without going into too much detail, old horse-drawn cot. She prefers old horse-drawn coach. Co she prefers old horse-drawn. She prefers her hand. She prefers old horse-drawn hands. Can't say that. The flesh doesn't re, 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 regenerate.